Hello everybody and welcome to my part two of my Sephora VIB recommendations videos. Today we're going to be focusing on skincare, hair care, body care, and my favorite fragrances. I'm going to throw in the sale dates on screen just to make it easier for you all. Feel free to take a screenshot. Don't want to be caught slipping. Um, <laughs> and a portion of today's video is sponsored by Belief. So huge thank you to them for supporting me and my channel. I'm going to be talking about my favorite products from them as well as their cute little holiday kits they brought out this year. So before we get into it, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. So I wanted to kick it off with my number one favorite product from Belief and you're probably very familiar with it by now. It's the Belief the True Cream Aqua Bomb Sunscreen. This is an SPF 50 and it just ticks off every requirement I have for an SPF. First of all, it just blends into your skin like a moisturizer would. It doesn't feel like an SPF in the slightest. It doesn't leave behind any white cast. It doesn't sting my eyes. It leaves me feeling really hydrated and glowy, but it does not make me oily throughout the day. It feels extremely lightweight. It doesn't feel greasy on my skin. It does not have a gross SPF smell. It just does it all for me. I have this product scattered around my house. I have one in the bathroom where I get ready for the day. I have one in my office here for whenever I'm getting ready doing my makeup, and I have one in my car. <laughs> the next product I love is the Belief Aqua Balm Overnight Lip Mask. And I don't just limit this to nighttime only. I'm actually wearing it right now. I just like to pair it with lipsticks as well because it adds a beautiful glossy sheen. It adds extra hydration of course and it's just one of the best lip balms as well. And something I recently discovered is that you get so much product in here. Of course it says 20 grams of product but I didn't really know what that looked like visually. I thought I was almost finished this one just because I've been using this so consistently for probably over a year now and recently my intrusive thoughts won. You can see I dug my finger in there. I poked my my pinky all the way down to the bottom and it still just reaches a little bit past my first knuckle here. So there's so much product <laughs> in this thing. It's amazing. It will last you such a long time. It's one of my favorite lip balms out there. This has re-become a favorite of mine. This is the Belief the True Cream Aqua Balm. I was a huge fan of this a couple years ago, but I wanted to test some other things, but now I'm back. This is a gorgeous gel cream. It's more suited for those of you who have normal skin types or oily skin types. And this one is phenomenal in the summertime as well because it's super lightweight. It's not going to feel heavy on your skin. I love this consistency because it's so luscious feeling and so hydrating. When you first apply it to your skin, it feels super cooling and it's almost like a drink of water for your skin. It will just make your skin come back to life. And another thing that's really important to me is that it wears beautifully under makeup. So this is another favorite. Now I wanted to touch on the two kits they brought out this year. So this one over here contains a full size and a mini of the True Cream Moisturizing Balm, which is the moisturizer that is better suited for those of you who have a drier skin type. So this is the full size and this is the mini that you get so it's not entirely that mini and it's really cute because there's two surfing hippos on here and one of them's holding oh no both of them have a little jar of moisturizer so this is the one that I have been using this is the aqua bomb and this is the moisturizing bomb I'll show you the different textures on the back of my hand as well and here they are moisturizing balm versus aqua bomb. After this video, I'm gonna be so moisturized. This kit costs $42 USD and it has a $60 value. So if you love this cream, it's a good one for your bank. And this is the other kit, which I'm so excited about. It's so cute. This is the Glow on the Go Holiday Kit. And this kit costs $23 USD and it has a $34 value. And in here you get the True Cream Aqua Bomb Sunscreen, the True Cream Aqua Bomb, the Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser, the Aqua Bomb Hydrating Toner, and the Moisturizing Eye Balm. And they're all these super cute minis. Like, hold on. This one is especially cute. I'm gonna put this in my purse. This is <laughs> the SPF. How adorable. And there's a few products in here that I have not tried, but that's the beauty of getting one of these kits. You get to try the products out without having to commit to the full sizes. I'll have links to all of those products in the description down below, so check that out after you're done watching this video. <laughs> I'm going to continue talking about my favorite skincare products that you can get at Sephora. This is my favorite cleansing oil. It's by Shu Umura. It's the ultimate Sublime Beauty Cleansing Oil. This one is a limited edition packaged one. It looks a little bit different, but this stuff is incredible. It was actually the first cleansing oil I've ever tried, but I wanted to explore 
but over the years I would always 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 go back to this one it just gets the job done so quickly and it does it the best as well plus I love that it comes in one of these huge bottles because this stuff lasts a long time you only need a touch of it because it just slips off your makeup in seconds it really gets in there and removes everything it also works with my peskiest mascaras to get off nothing is a challenge for this cleansing oil it's the best and my favorite thing about this is that it comes in a pump that's the beauty of cleansing oils because if you need to add a little bit more it's no problem at all just like a quick little pump and and you're on your way <laughs> to having a clean face. Next up, I have a serum I wanted to talk about. This is the Coda Lee Vino Perfect Brightening Serum. This has been in my life for quite a few years, and honestly, nothing eradicates my dark spots more effectively than this does. Although I no longer use this on a nightly basis, I'll use this on a weekly basis, like once or twice a week, depending on what is needed, just because my skin reacts better to less products. My skin does not respond well to multi-step skincare routines, so I have to be a little cautious, but whenever I use this, I see such a big difference. It exfoliates and brightens my skin like no other. Next up, I have two Biosense products. The first one is a toning mist. This is the Squalane and Hyaluronic Toning Mist. I wish more toners came like this. Not only is it funner to apply, but you don't waste product by putting it in your cotton round. I just like the application process of this much better. I almost sprayed it directly into my eyeballs. I'll show you the spritz. It's so fine, did you even see that? It's such a relaxing experience, and I find that this amplifies my next step so much. Um, so I don't use this on a nightly basis either. I only use this when my skin is needing a boost of hydration. And the other product, which I recently raved about on my channel, is the Biosense Squalane and Omega Repair Cream. This has become my nightly moisturizer. It is so repairing, it has fixed my barrier, and I feel like it just does a great job at evening out my texture. It made such a huge difference in my life. It also feels really deeply hydrating, but it does not break me out. Since I do have an oilier skin type, it still allows my skin to breathe and not feel clogged. I feel like I wish I discovered Biosense earlier in my life. <laughs> I remember hearing about it a couple years ago, and I should have gone for it then because I feel like I would have um, skipped a lot of bad skincare mistakes. I have another moisturizer. This is the First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This one has been in my collection for years as well. I sometimes get very sensitive, and this is just a perfectly simple moisturizer. There's no fragrance to it. It's just deeply hydrating without like clogging your skin again. And I'll also use this on my body. And sometimes my legs just get unbearably itchy and nothing will help it except for this. Same with my arms. It truly is first aid for my skin. Those are all of my skincare favorites from Sephora. Now let's go for body care. I feel like that makes the most sense. So the first one I wanted to highly recommend is the Necessaire the Body Wash. This is in the scent Eucalyptus. It is such an invigorating smell. I love the smell of Eucalyptus. I believe they have a few other... Let me just check. They have a few scents. I was right. Really good sniffs. <laughs> I might have to try the other ones, but this is the only one I've tried so far. It just makes for such a calming experience in the shower, and of course it does an incredible job at washing my skin. Without it overstripping my skin or irritating my skin, it leaves my skin feeling super soft and just clean. It's my favorite. The next thing I wanted to recommend for the body is the KP Bump Eraser from First Aid Beauty. So I've been using this for a couple years now. It actually fell out of my routine earlier in the summer. I just went a couple showers without using this and that's how easy I get put off my routines. And my KP was so bad in the middle of summer. I couldn't believe how raised and how much it was spreading and it was just spreading onto my cat tattoo. So I quickly re-implemented this into my routine and it eradicated my problem very quickly. I can't believe how smooth and soft my, my arms are again and the coloration of my KP is so minimal. It just made such a big difference. I feel like it was actually a good thing for me to stop using this just to see how big of a difference this actually contributes to my KP. I know I'm always going to have it, it just makes it a lot more manageable and a lot less obvious. Like when I feel my arms, they feel like the rest of my body where I'm not affected with KP. And this product is an exfoliator, not only physically but chemically. It has 10% AHA and it has a super fine grit to it. It's a little bit rougher than older ones we used to use on our face, but it just really buffs your skin. It's incredible. It feels really great too. While we're on the topic of this, they also have a moisturizer. This is the KP Smoothing Body Lotion. This 
plus this really, really help to get my arms back into sorts. And I also like using this on my butt cheeks, especially if I've been wearing a lot of athleisure wear. You know, you'll just get those little spots. They're not like acne or anything. You, you'll just get, it's almost like KP, but on, under your butt. This really helps to smooth and heal all that out. I don't use this all over my skin. I only like to use this in spots where I have spots. But I have two body lotions for all over that I adore. The first one is another Necessaire product. This is their body lotion. And I adore this one, especially in the winter time. I use it all year round, but especially in the winter time because it has a more rich, thick texture, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling um, like dewy to the touch. It sinks in, but it leaves you feeling really silky and soft. I'll show you the texture on the back of my hand here. There it is. So you can see it's kind of a thicker, thicker texture. And I adore that this one is fragrance free, especially when I'm moisturizing my skin like to go about my day because that's when I want my perfume to shine most. I don't like when I'm wearing too many things that have fragrance in it because then everything starts to compete with each other and it's just, it, I just end up smelling weird. I think a majority of people would really like this. I'm leaving this here for a second because I'm talking about another one now, which is the Biotherm body lotion. And I love how big of a container you get in this as well, but this is perfect for the summertime because it has a thinner consistency. See, it's more liquidy and thin, and this one sinks into your skin immediately. Once this is rubbed into your skin, it just feels like you're naturally the smoothest person ever. It's really quick to apply to, it sinks right in, and you're ready to go. Again, this is another one that doesn't feel like you're wearing a moisturizer, which I really enjoy that, especially if I'm going to be crawling into my sheets at night. I don't want my sheets to feel like they're grabbing me. That's when I start to feel claustrophobic in there. It doesn't do that. <laughs> it doesn't do that, but yeah. Here are the two cream textures. Again, this is the Necessaire one, and this is Biotherm. So that's it for body care. Now let's talk about my favorite fragrances, and I have to rave about this one right here. I don't think I have on my channel yet. This is the K. Alley Love Fest Burning Cherry 48 fragrance. It smells so good. It's not really what I was expecting at all. If you have gotten along with my fragrance recommendations in the past, you will love this one just because it's a bit unexpected. I love how it has that cherry in it though because it does add a sweetness to it, but it also has a lot of mystery and depth to it. I've never smelt anything like this before, but it's what I've been wearing every day this fall. Um, I brought it on my trip to Alaska. I just want to douse myself in this every day. I even use this a bit at night just because I find it to be very comforting and it's just, I just want to sniff it at all times of the day. Some of the notes on the back here include burning cherry, raspberry, praline, palo santo, guayac wood, I don't know what that is, and patchouli. All of my besties in one. Oh my god, my face through the bottle. The next fragrance I have here is the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. I would highly recommend that you sniff this first because I feel like it has a little bit of a different edge to it than other vanilla perfumes I've used in the past. It has a depth and darkness to it. And I also recently found out that Harry Styles uses this, so I've been smelling like Harry Styles for years. <laughs> So you can smell like me and Harry Styles if you'd like. Ah, uh, that's a terrible thing to say. Help? This is a beautiful one. It hits you with that sweetness, but then there's a, a darkness creeping up behind it. It is glorious. And you only need a little bit of this and it's going to stay on your clothing and on your skin for a very long time. It doesn't just dissipate quickly, as you would hope for such a pricey freaking fragrance. This is the last one I wanted to talk about and it's actually a hair mist or a hair perfume. It's the K. Alley White Flower 57. I have fallen in love with the K. Alley scents. They are just all so good, but these ones are for sure my top favorites and my top recommended. This one has notes of gardenia, jasmine absolute orange flower, tuberose infusion, and Tahitian vanilla. It just smells really rich and it smells really sweet and light. I use this all the time, especially if I'm going out. I want this to trail behind me, you know? And I get compliments all the time when people hug me if I'm wearing this in my hair. It is just stunning. I am almost finished this. I mean, I have to get some more. It is phenomenal. And if you're asking why I'm not mentioning my replica fragrances that I love, I just have put them on the back burner right now just because I have been more into these two as of late. But those are my top recommended fragrances. Now let's get into my hair care and one hair tool. The one hair tool that has really revolutionized my hair. I use this every single day, every day. And it was a godsend when I had my bangs. 
and it even is a godsend when I have these growing out bangs right now. It's the Dyson Airwrap. But to me, this thing is fully worth the price for how much I use it. And I love all of the different attachments this comes with. And it's really fun to use, of course. My top used attachments, for sure this one, when I'm blow drying my hair. I like how smooth it makes my hair. Of course, this one to get a loose blow dry going on before moving on to the brush one and the round brush attachment as well. This is what really got my bangs going when I had that haircut. I would not have had those bangs for so long if I didn't have this machine. For the curling attachments, I go through phases with them. Some days I want that blowout look and some days I just want like a normal wand curl effect. Uh, but these are super fun and the new addition of the Dyson Airwrap looks really enticing to me. You don't have to switch these anymore. You just twist the little nipple at the top and it switches the direction. So you're not there constantly figuring out which attachment is for what side of your head. And another way I like to use my Dyson is when I use dry shampoo, I like to turn it on and kind of comb it through my hair just to make it a lot quicker and to disperse the dry shampoo everywhere. <laughs> I don't have my entire hair care routine here. Not everything is available at Sephora, <clears throat> but once I get a hang of my red hair, I want to film a video of my entire routine, but let's get into these products. So I don't have any shampoos or conditioners, but I do have this Moroccan oil weightless hydrating mask that I use quite often as a conditioner. It smells like Moroccan oil products as well, which is one of my favorite fragrances. And they do have a fragrance now, I believe. But it's really rich and it feels kind of jello-y, so it sticks in your hair really well. I like to put a generous amount throughout the ends of my hair and I like to wrap it up into a claw clip and then move on to washing my body or shaving my parts <laughs> while it's soaking into my hair. But it adds so much hydration, it makes my hair a lot more manageable and it's fantastic on my extensions because I need to baby these extensions almost more than the hair that naturally grows from my head because these don't produce their own oils um, so I need to amp up the hydration in any way I can and this really helps to keep my hair looking healthy and keep me having to buy new extensions all the time. I go like a full year without having to buy extensions because of how much oil and how many hydrating things I put into this thing. I have more Moroccan oil products. Speaking of hydration and oils and such. I still love the Moroccan oil treatment oil. It's so nice and luscious. It just performs well and I love the scent. I remember smelling this whenever my mom was getting ready for work. It just smells like that and it brings me happy memories and it's also very hydrating and it makes my hair more manageable. It's the perfect oil for me. And the last Moroccan oil product I wanted to recommend is again the dry shampoo. This one is my favorite. I just love how this restores my hair. It makes it feel clean again without feeling grainy and the scent isn't too much it does smell like Moroccan oil products but it does dissipate so you're not overwhelmed with like the dry shampoo smell I hate when dry shampoos are too fragranced it just gives me a headache it just makes your hair feel really soft and silky and it doesn't make your hair look dull either like my natural hair shine can still shine through and the last two products are from JVN which is a newer hair care brand I have completely fallen in love with this pre-wash scalp oil. Oiling my scalp never really occurred to me in the past. Um, it recently was a huge thing on TikTok, as we probably all know here, <laughs> but it never really occurred to me, but I've fallen in love with this step because it acts kind of like an oil cleanser, but for my scalp, but it really helps to dissolve the dry shampoo and whatever else has accumulated throughout the week. And it makes my clean hair last longer because I completely removed everything from there. It just does an incredible job at hydrating my roots as well and I feel like that will ultimately be really good for my hair growth and such. I hope that things are getting declogged up there. If it was clogged, I don't know, but I feel like it's made such a big difference. Let me know if you have any other scalp oils that you love because I feel like I need to try out some more. Of course, this is the first one I've ever used. And the last product, this is the Complete Conditioning Mist. And this one's interesting because you can of course use it on wet hair to like help detangle your hair, keep it more manageable, hydrate it. But you can also put it onto your dry hair to rehydrate it and detangle it. I like it because it's super lightweight. It doesn't ever feel like too much through my ends. It doesn't make my hair feel heavy. It'll just feel like my natural clean hair. I've been extremely happy with it. And that wraps up today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I wanted to say another huge thank you to Believe for sponsoring today's video. I'll have links to the kits and each product I mentioned in the description down below. So please check that out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.